Remember back in 2014, he told the New Yorker magazine regarding ISIS that, quote, the analogy we use around here sometimes, and I think is accurate, is if a JV team puts on Lakers uniforms, that doesn't make him Kobe Bryant. His underestimation of ISIS was one of the reasons behind Donald Trump's success as Donald Trump vowed to destroy ISIS. So he's tapping in right now to a whole handful of generals that will help him do just that. Joining me right now with Fox retired gunnery sergeant Jesse Jane Duff. Good to see you here. Uh, what, what do you think of his admission here that, look, he, he, it just wasn't on his radar screen. I mean, how, how do we not have something like this, which I think, frankly, was pretty much obvious. We got out of Iraq. We got out of Iraq fast, fast because we wanted to, and we left it in total disarray, total chaos. Why wouldn't you think that a group like ISIS could evolve out of the what we had left behind? Exactly. It was, to me, absolutely disgusting to hear a commander-in-chief say this out loud. First of all, every intelligence agency had basically implied or suggested or told us flat out that al-Qaeda is not gone. They have been pushed back, but they were not destroyed or removed. He was warned in 2007, President Bush had made a statement that we do not want to underestimate the powers of this Islamic jihadist movement. It will take over Iraq. Anybody who has studied warfare knows you do not evacuate and then decide that everything's fine. It gives an opportunity for your enemy to rise again and be fueled and empowered because your forces have left. It's just obscene to me that he allowed that he even said this out loud. So how different will things be now? I mean, you've got three generals that are going to be part of this administration. What do you anticipate? Well, first of all, all of these generals are very well informed and have pushed back on President Obama. That's probably the first reason why Donald Trump is so impressed with them. All of them had told him on one level or another that ISIS is an incredible threat, whether it be coming in through our borders, our border security, or whether they're an exit, a, a, a definite threat to our national security. We have people in the Defense Department now that are very tough leaders, and hopefully General Mattis will get confirmed that Congress would be insane not to confirm this man, because nobody understands the enemy better than the generals that are in place. Flynn, Mattis, and Kelly hopefully will be the greatest team to get this country safe again. All right. Sergeant Duff, good to have you here. Thank you very much.